What's going on guys, it's Renja Militia, and welcome to episode 5 of my Python tutorial series, and in this episode we're going to be learning about while loops, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use this calculator program that we made in episode 4, and loop it so we can do multiple equation equations without having to restart the program. For instance, if we, start, if we ran the program right now, what we would get is this, of course, and addition, please enter a number, let's go 5 and 6, now 11. Now, if I wanted to do another equation, I would have to run the whole program over again. But instead, we can add a while loop, and we can do as many equations as we want without having to restart it. So first, we're going to need the input of how many times the user wants, or how many equations the user wants to do. And whenever we take input, we got to prompt the user. So print how many equations would you would you like to do bam all right prompt the user now we got to put our input so e for equations equals int input bam all right now the reason i shorten equations to e is just so it um it's a little easier to actually use it in code so i don't have to type out equations every single time so now what we're going to do is we're going to make another variable that's going to be very uh, a key variable in the loop. So count equals zero. Now this is kind of blurry at first. You probably don't know what this means, but uh, of course count it can be any name, but I like to call it count because it's simpler. But uh, you probably don't know what it is right now, but unless you can kind of like infer what I'm doing here if you have prior programming experience. But I will show you what count means in a second. So now. The syntax for looping is while, and that should turn orange, such as, or such as, like that of the if statements. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to while count is less than e, then we're going to put a colon. So basically, what we just told the computer is while the expression or inequality, while the inequality count is less than e is true. Everything that is under this while is going to count or going to loop. Now, right now, all of this stuff isn't technically under the while loop. It's gonna have to be tabbed under. So we're gonna have to do a lot of tabbing and then in the in a second here. But so what we're gonna do is now I'm gonna kinda clear up count. Count equals count plus one. So now, like I said before. As long as count is less than e, it's going to loop. Now, if we don't put this in, it's just going to loop continuously. And what I mean by that is count equals count plus one means uh, we're telling the computer how many times it's looped. So the variable count is, okay, it starts off as zero because it hasn't looped at all. And then it, if it loops once, it's going to add one to count each time that it loops. So if it loops once, it's going to add one to count. So it's going to know count equals one. Now, if we put in 2 for, er, for e, or how many equations, if count is uh, 0, it's going to say, okay, count is less than 2, so we're going to run, we're going to loop it. So it's going to run all of this code, once we tab it in, of course, and then it's going to add 1. So it's going to be, count is now going to equal 1. Now, since count is still less than e, it's going to do it again. So now it's going to run all this code again, and then it's going to add 1 to count. So now count is 2. But since count is no longer less than to e, it's actually equal to e, it's not going to loop it anymore. So, what we're going to have to do is, like I said before, is tab all of this stuff in here. So you can just click on the front of it and tab it in. Now make sure everything is still tabbed to scale, like uh, your everything under your if statements are all still tabbed under your... Uh, or everything under the if statements is tabbed correctly under the if statement, which shouldn't be too hard. You just got to click on everything and tab it once. And we're just about finished. And I'm going to show you one more thing if you're running it in command line. And what command line is, is, let's see, command, command line. It looks a lot like command prompt. It actually has the same thing at the, the top of shell. You could actually code in this. So I think you could just copy and paste. Oops. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I hit Control X instead of Control C. I was like, oh, heart attack, but Control V saves lives. Okay. So, uh, okay, maybe not. So, actually, if I 
probably do this. Print. Hello. Oh yeah, so you could code in this. Um, but of course you can't save anything. Uh, you can actually run a program. So, what we're going to do with this command line is we're actually going to run the program. So we can just close it since we're going to run the program. I have it saved on my desktop. Where is it? There it is. Calculator. So here we are. Uh, let's do two equations. One. Yeah. And see, it just kind of ended. Now, how we're going to fix that is we're going to... Uh, Let's see, print, and make sure it's not tabbed under the while count, because every time it'll, uh, it'll loop every single time, but we don't want it to loop, we want to, we want to have this at the end once all the loops are finished, so we're going to do, um, please press enter to close, oops, we'll do end slash close the program. And then how we're going to make it so that when they press enter, it's going to end is we can just set any variable so it can be like end, oops, end equals oops, input. So now, or not in, input, and now it's going to look for uh, in a variable, or not a variable, I'm sorry, an input from the user. And it's not an integer, of course, so it'll work if they just hit enter. And I'll show you that. Actually, let's not run that in that. We're going to... Run that and that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to open this calculator right here. Let's just do one equation. Let's do addition. 1 plus 2 equals 3. And then bam. So before, let's see, why don't we delete this again. And we'll run it again. 1, 1, 1 plus 1 plus 2. Oh, wait, hold on. We didn't save it. I was like, what? So let's save. Bam. So we'll do one equation. Add 2 plus 2 equals 4, and then it's a close. I'm like, ah, I didn't even see the answer. So, if we go ahead and put that back, we will have, of course, the ending. So, now actually, let me make sure this works for a second. Our loop here. Let's press enter. On equations like this, 2, addition. So, let's do enter number 2. Alright, addition 2 plus 2. Alright, there. Alright, so there we are. We have finished our program where you can loop it and I was thinking I'm not sure what to do next I was thinking about uh, doing maybe a Pythagorean theorem program uh, maybe you know something like that where we could work that out uh, but that is pretty much it for this episode thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like if you have a problem or anything leave it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for the new episodes thanks guys